Hey everybody, it's been a while since my last video. Um, this one's not going to be re reselling. This one's going to be um, digital products. And we've done t-shirts to death and merch. And this is going to be using... Oh, sorry, cats have to come in when they hear me talk. This is doing leggings, women's leggings, with using the Printful print-on-demand site. And like I've told you before, I'm integrated with WooCommerce and WordPress. You can also use it if you have a Shopify store. But I'm just going to be showing basically the creation of your print file for the leggings. And I'm going to be doing this in Illustrator because, as I mentioned before, vector files are the best to work with because they're scalable without loss of quality of printing. And when you're going from t-shirt size up to legging size, that's really important because you don't want fuzzy pictures. So when you find an image that you're able to use on the web, um, when you blow it up to be printable on a pair of pants, it could be an issue. You know, you can keep the image small and you're going to be duplicating them all over your pair of pants to make a pattern that may work. But I always like to start with the vector file and it just makes life easier. Okay, Printful has a Photoshop file template you can download. I created this, I created this template myself here. Let me click on it. No kitty. And the reason why I did this myself to help me out, if you can see over here on the left-hand side, I have my layers. No mango. Ah, mango. So, what did I show here on the side? I'm pointing to it like you can see me pointing. Um, the top layer has these five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, um, size layers. No, you can't. I'm sorry. My cat is being inconsistent. So what this does is it helps me see what the final product is going to be in each different size. Now, if you're going to upload one file for all sizes, that's great. That's what I do. It's easiest. But for some reason, if it looks different or better in different size, you can upload and create a large file, a medium file. That's up to you. So what we're going to start off here is I'm going to take the eye off the layer that shows you all the sizes. And then I already have this file. And I've already done this file here. So and it takes some time because we're working with large files, so I may freeze. And we're going to click and drag this file over to here. And what this is, for the all over leggings, uh, it's going to be a butt here. Oh, I put it in the wrong spot, that's why. Um, I need to highlight the design layer, then bring it over. Drop it in, and it's dropping in the wrong layer. Is it? There you go. So now, if I shut off these layers, it's just going to show my design here. And I'm going to bring it up here. And what you do is basically for the all over leggings, and let me go over here real quick to artboards and double click there. Artboards for the all over leggings is a 40 inch, 48 inch wide by 41 and a half inches high. Let me just double check that. I'm gonna go to my window here, all over leggings. Yes, I'm pointing to it again right here. It's a 48 inches by 41 and a half inches. So that's what our artboard is, and that's very important. And you can create that yourself. You don't have to have this fancy template. You can just create an artboard that's 48 inches by 41 and a half inches. And you just got to make sure your graphic ends up filling the whole thing. So I'm going to stretch this a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm holding down the shift key and grabbing an arrow so it makes it bigger. And then I release it and it keeps everything in proportion. And now here's why I have those layers for me. I'm going to go ahead and click it back on. And I have large clicked on. So it's going to show me the pant leg here. It's transparent where the pant leg is, the pattern. So I can kind of see how my graphic here is going to appear there. 
So I'm going to just do it like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and shut that layer off again. I'm going to Command C on the Mac, whatever you do to pet on PC to copy, and then Command V to paste. And there may be other ways to do this. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to put it there. And then I'm going to click off and see if there's any gap. There's no gap. I actually did pretty good. Placed it right there. I'm going to command paste another one. And then I'm going to put it over here. And I'm not quite overlapping, so I'm going to cheat here a little bit. Let's go one... I'm using the arrow keys to kind of position it, but it looks good. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all three and hit Command G. That's going to group them. So now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it overlaps over my artboard. You can go overlap as much as you want over your artboard. It's great. <coughs> now I'm going to copy Command C this grouped image. And then Command V paste it. So I kind of saved me a little time. I have a whole row now. And this works. It could kind of start slowing down because you're working with very large images here. I'm going to see if I can eyeball that. What I'm trying to do is I what I did is I, I uh, bought this pattern. And so this is the square pattern I purchased. So it fits together nicely. And it's telling me here something on an error I've never seen before. Can I see what that is? I think we went. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. Probably got too many files open. I'm trying to get rid of that little white gap there. And then I click off to get rid of the highlight line. And it looks good. Now I'm going to do it one more time so I'm covering up my entire artboard. And you can go, like I said, as much as you want over your artboard because when you export the file, it's going to it's going to save your file to exactly the artboard size. So let's drag it down here. Boop. And let me take my highlight line off and it's like I have a little gap right here. I don't know how I got that gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section and I'm going to ungroup it. Go to Object, Ungroup. Because somehow I got a little, I see a little white space up here too. I'm not going to worry about this that too for this demonstration. I'm just, I don't want to get it perfect because like I said, I've already done this. That looks good to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select them all and Command G to group them. So it's now one group. So if I move it at all or resize it, it does it as a group. Now you can go ahead and turn that layer back on for the sizing. And, that's it. and inside the leggings here, I'm pointing again, you can see what your leggings are going to look like. So if you think that's too big, you can lower it down or resize it down. You just want to make sure you don't, you know, the, the final product, you can't be any smaller than your arc board. So I think that looks good. I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and check some of the other sizes. We'll take the large off. Let's check the extra small. Extra small. Yeah, the letters might be a little big, but I'm okay with that. And yeah, let's go ahead and check the extra large. And again, looks good. So I'm okay with all that. Now, well, how much time do I have? I have about five minutes. So just to get you a forewarning, uh, Printful allows the all over leggings, they have Capri leggings, and they have all over yoga leggings. They all are gonna require a different size artboard. And the yoga leggings require a waistband front and back file size too. I might show you that in a different video or you can figure it out for yourself. But all you really, all you have to do is create an artboard the size they say in their, um, in their requirements. And here's the requirements right here. So, and, and I'll go there real quick for you. Let's go back to the website. 
let's go to, uh, remember this is 48 by 41 and a half. The Capri leggings, they want a 47 by 35 inch. I have a different artboard for that. I haven't made the, uh, the files for the sizes yet, but I will. And then the um, all over yoga leggings, they require three files. Legs are 47 by 41. Then you have a front waistband and a back waistband. Waistband. They all have a logo file if you want to put your own branding on the inside. That's optional. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat hurts. So let's go back to our file. So anyway, once you're done making your image the right size, I'm going to go ahead and click off. You need to take off that layer so it's invisible. That's a way for it to do it. So this is our final image for our leggings. So what you want to do next is you want to go, uh, and you can't see here, let me scroll it down. Oops. Oh, you can't see it's in the top part. So what you want to do is click File and then Export, Export As. And here's the really important part, the part I forget quite often. You want to use, click Use Artboards. You only have one artboard, but I go ahead and click it anyway, Range 1. And what this is going to do, it's going to only export your image that's on the artboard. And you can see a thin black line here. That's your artboard. So it's going to export this as a file 47 by, or whatever it is, by 41 and a half. I'm going to put this, yeah, I'll put this right here. And I'm just going to leave it. You can name it whatever you want. Save it where you are. Click export. The next part is you want art optimized. The resolution, they say, only has to be 150. That's up to you. 300 to me is a better quality, but it's a larger file and takes longer to upload. They only require 150 um, resolution. And then once you're done that, you make sure are optimized, you hit OK. And this takes a little bit of time as well. And we're running short on time. I'm using a free version of the software, so it only gives me 15 minutes recording time. So hopefully that will go qu quickly. Now, once you got your file size, we're going to go, and that's going to still show up. Let me move it over here while oh, that's saving. There we go. We're going to go to Add Product. This is on your Printful account now. We're going to go to Leggings, and we're going to do All Over Leggings, because that's the file we just checked. Choose File. I'm going to go to my store. I'm going to Upload. Now I have it here under comic book, and that should be my file, is that correct? Yep. So we click that, and then it's going to slowly upload it. I did mine at 300 dpi, so it's going to, well, it's going pretty good now. And a little wheel spinning there. Got two minutes, so I'm probably going to stop. Well, we'll see how much it goes here. We got about a minute and a half on the video. Um, they've changed um, some of this upload process. They've made it a lot easier and streamlined. Ah. Well, while that's uploading, maybe I can. Oh, there we go. So we'll click choose. And then it will show you there your pattern and everything, the different sizes. I have all my sizes select, stick to color white. Um, I guess I can stick black. I think I'm going to leave it white on this. Proceed to mock-ups. Um, you can do them in high heels, barefoot, or sneakers. And I like barefoot because barefoot is sexy. And then proceed to a description. You can call it wood, whatever you want, comic book. Um, pow. Bam. I'm not gonna I'm gonna think about that a little bit. I don't know, and I got 30 seconds left. Go to pricing and then you go to complete and it'll push the product to your website. Again, if your website sells other things besides printful, you'll have to go in there and set your shipping. I have other videos that show you how to do that. So that's it. That's how you do create a leggings print file and push the product to your website.
See you guys later.